Hey boys and girls, it's been a while since I uploaded anything uh, to YouTube, but main reason being I bought a house and I moved. Uh, but at my old house, I uh, had an issue where my driveway was really long and I had uh, those regular rolling cans with the wheels on them for the trash. And so to take my trash can down, I would either hang my hand out the window and, and drag it, you know, or roll it beside my car, or and after a drop, you need it a couple times and trash going everywhere like freaking idiot. Um, I decided I'd, I'd look into a better option, and, and one option I found was um, these these hitches that go onto your car, and as you can see, you know, you the it carries the can behind the hitch there, you know, and um, you know you won't drop it like that. And except I have you know trash and recycle, so they make the dual ones like that, and which are great, but you know almost three hundred dollars. I was like, of course not. So I decided I'm going to build my own. So the first thing I did was uh, I got this square, one inch square stock at the local metal supply. They were having a clearance on it in six foot sections for like three dollars. So I picked up a whole bunch of them. I used them for another project. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Um, but I had some left over for 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 whatever, and so I used it for this. The first thing I did um, was I cut them down to like a one foot section and uh, four of them all the same size, one foot, and welded them all together so I had a two inch square, which will fit your two inch uh, receiver hitch. Uh, the next thing I did was I went to Harbor Freight and got these trailer pin locks for the hitches. Um, they, you know, slide in and lock your uh hitch on your trailer. They're just a pin and they have a little piece of metal that goes over there that keeps it from falling out. I bought four of those. I think they were like two to three dollars a piece. Um, and so after welding up the, the, the four pieces and making a piece that will fit into the receiver, I just um, I measured where my truck was and the size of my cans and everything. I don't remember the exact measurement, so you'll have to measure your guys' own if you if you want to do this project. But I think it ended up being like 24 inches. So I took two pieces of the, of the square stock, welded them together um, so that I had a two foot long riser off of the, the two inch square that I did for the receiver. And you can see in the pictures. Um, and then on the top of that, I took one long rod, probably uh, three, four feet long, and welded that on top. I also took some two inch flat stock uh, metal, like about an, what, an eighth or maybe a quarter inch thick. I think it was maybe a quarter inch thick. I cut them in sections to provide brackets for the handles of the can to fit in there. And then, as you can see, I bent them because the handles are wider than one inch uh, diameter. So I bent them out, flared them out, and then welded those onto the one inch bar on top and uh, drill holes in it for the pins to slide through. Two, two uh, holders for each can so I can take both cans down at the same time. The cans literally, they just uh, lean right in there. You put the pins in, it holds the, the cans, handles, and the pins. And the whole thing just rolls right behind you and it worked great. Here it is, a picture on my truck. Uh, as you can see, you just pull the pins out and you drop the can handles in, put the pins in. Um, and then drive it right down to wherever you're dropping your trash off and um, unhit, unpull the pins, undo the cans, and uh, when you're done, you just throw it in the bed of the truck or whatever, throw it in your garage till next week. Uh, unfortunately, I don't need this anymore, so um, kind of the whole purpose of this video was I was uh, kind of redoing it because I hadn't flared those brackets before, so the, the handles of the trash cans didn't fit in there that great. Um, because I'm going to be giving it to my brother who has the same exact problem. So I thought I'd make a video on it, a quick video, um, and it gave me a chance to play with my new welder too. So that's always great too. Look for more videos, guys. If, if you like these type of projects, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like this, obviously like it. Um, every little bit helps, and I'll keep making videos, hopefully more often now that I've moved. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.